You can do some proper nice steep turns. It might make you feel a bit queasy. <laughs> <laughs> but just by doing that turn, we lost like 200 feet. Yeah. So that's what you got to watch. I'd, it'd be even worse than a bloody helicopter. Yeah. What's the longest you've been out in for? Uh, what, flying? Yeah. I think... When I done my qualifying cross country, I was went from here to Cambridge, Cambridge to Norwich, then Norwich back. Yeah. And that was a good three, two and a half hours. Oh, uh, right. But a lot of that was... Yeah, but you're on the ground, on the though, ground. Yeah. Yeah. Seen on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the longest I've really properly flown for is about an hour. Right. Yeah, because, you know, like in a carburetor, fuel yeah. freezes up, doesn't it? So by doing that... So you have to do that now, but just every 10, 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, just warm it up. Yeah. And then you, when you do that, you check your fuel, check yeah, your yeah, temperature yeah. pressures, yeah. check your DI, checking, checking basically your checks. Then back to cold, which I forgot to do earlier. Now we could fly out to the wind farm. <laughs> that's, that's what I mean, the freedom. I know. To do that. Flying overseas does make you feel wall, doesn't it? <laughs> it does me anyway. You know, I'm thinking if we have an engine failure, I'm constantly looking, looking where, where I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah, we've got yeah, some yeah. lovely fields down yes, there. Yes, yeah, yeah. I didn't realise you could just go anywhere you want and change your flight plan as yeah. such. Yeah, you can just go, yeah. Right. As long as they've got a rough idea where you're going. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, when I first started, I went this is my like fourth flight. When I yeah. first I just stuck to my lines. Yeah. Today I'm kinda of deviating a yeah, bit more yeah, and just yeah, kind, yeah. Of, kind of enjoying it a bit yeah. more. But you know, imagine the White Cliffs of Dover, that's what I wanna do. That's just going through South End airspace and then across Kent and then you're there. Oh definitely, I'd be up for that, yeah. definitely. Uh, Golf Alpha Charlie at Walton, uh, turning to uh, Old Cove. Golf Alpha Charlie, Roger, report change of frequency. Uh, Will Cove, Golf Alpha Charlie. But yeah, but when you're doing your lessons, you don't have this. It's no, in the chart. Work. Time, note the time you arrive here, then you turn onto your head and then you talk. Right. And you've got to do it all literally like that. All right, let's uh, turn back around. Now we're going to have the sun in the rise. Look at that. What a view. And when you're overseas, it gives you a little blue ring. That tells me how far I can glide. <laughs> right. <laughs> So now we're blinded. So, I know on this plog, my next route is one of the days to Earl's Cove. Um, that's a heading of 275. Yep. So if I head 275 on the DI, is there. Basically west 275, yeah. isn't it? Then that'll take us back to Earl's Cove. And, uh, According to this, that will take, oh hang on, 20 to 15 minutes from Love. now. Yep. Uh, Golf Alpha Charlie, uh, request frequency change to Earl's Cone on 122.430. Golf Alpha Charlie, it's approved under Squawk 7000, good day. Squawk 7000, thanks for your help, good day. Uh, VFR 7000, change back to Earl's Cone, there we go. Earl's Cone Radio, this is Golf Echo Charlie Alpha Charlie, um, inbound currently at 1,900 feet on a QNH 1023, uh, just a beam Colchester, request uh, airfield information. Golf Echo Charlie Alpha, Charlie Earl's Cone uh, Radio, we are using runway 24, left hand circuit, QNH 1022, QFE 1014. Uh, runway 24, a left hand circuit, QNH 1022, QFE 1011, Golf Alpha Charlie. Golf Alpha Charlie, 
Golf Alpha Charlie, QFE 1014. Uh, correction, QFE, QFE 1014, Golf Alpha Charlie. Oh, he said that, but I wasn't too sure. <laughs> Alright, we're giving the QFE, so that's uh, 1014. Uh, Golf Alpha Charlie, do you have any circuit traffic to affect? Golf Alpha Charlie, uh, Elko uh, negative, no circuit traffic this time. Uh, well, in that case, I'll make a downwind join uh, for 2 Golf Alpha Charlie. Golf Alpha Charlie, roger. Something else I've always learned recently is always have your pen in your hand when you're talking, just in case yeah, they give you some something different and then you need and to you write it down. Write yeah. it down. Okay, carpet. Two sat power. In the white arc, one stage flaps. Looking for 70 knots now, so we're going to slow down. Second stage of flaps, there's 70. Put the nose down. And uh, trip. Got 70 knots. Check in final. That sun's disappeared now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's lovely, you can see. Yeah, thank God. Find that just right. Keeping 70 knots, make a turn. Golf, Alpha Charlie, final 2 4. Golf Alpha Charlie, Roger. Surface wind, carb. Golf Alpha Charlie. And we're going to land on the hard. Those two lights that are at an angle, aren't they? Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Pappies. Yeah. <whistles> Lovely landing. Lovely. That's just what you want. You want the stall warner to go off just before yep. you touch down. Yeah, yeah. And uh, landing on the main wheels. I'm so glad that some weren't there. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs>